hope is pretty obvious. We'd like to win the stage with Matt Goss. Uh, you know, we've been working towards this race. It's a very, very important race for our team, being an, an Aussie pro team. Uh, but there's just so many guys out here in good form, and everyone wants to win. But uh, we we feel this stage suits Matt Goss's sprint qualities. Uh, it's a sort of tough little finish. It's not a, a flat sprint. It's a, an uphill drag that sort of gets steeper towards the line. Which that, that thing really suits Gossy. So uh, I think the harder the stage today, the better for him. Take the sting out of uh, Andre Greipel's legs. But the thing is, with, with Greipel here at Tour Down Under, uh, every sprint stage suits him up, down, flat, doesn't really matter. So um, we always hope Gossy can get on top of it and it'd be good to get a win on the board. But uh, also we've, um, we've got some guys in the team uh, that we're, uh, we're trying to just streamline things with our, our little sprint train. We haven't got a full train here. We've got a two-pronged attack. Obviously, Gero won the race last year, so we're going to you know, we're going to work on that again. But I do the best we can with with Gossi, with Jens Morris, with Daryl Impey, and the other guys supporting them on the flat days. Okay, and then rest of the stage we've got the corkscrew, so that's going to be a killer of a climb. It's going to blow the race to pieces up there. What, what what are the plans for that one? Or is it just take it as it comes? Well, you know, we're going to aim for GC. There's no secret there. Uh, we've got two guys who we, we believe will play a role on the corkscrew and, and on the GC with Simon Gerrans and Simon Clark. Um, I think the corkscrew will, will have a big influence on the race, but it won't be all determining on the GC. I, I think you know, the gaps won't be huge at the top. It's only the only climb in the in the final part of the stage. It's not like doing Wollonga twice and finishing on top, so it'll break things up a bit, but it'll just give the GC some form um, and that'll be good for the for the sprinters for the rest of the race because the GC will be sort of semi set up and uh, they'll want to hold things together on the other stages which will provide the sprinters teams with a, a bit more of a break during the day and uh, ramp things up towards the finish and we see some exciting fast sprints after that. Hey.